so I thought I'd film like um, like a time trial build up. So I've got a time trial on Saturday. So well, a 5k time trial on Saturday. So I thought I'd film sort of two days each and like make a YouTube video about video out of it. So it's Sunday and I'm just going to go for a 25k long run. Probably going to keep it nice and easy around like seven to six 30 minute miling. Maybe a bit quicker. I'm not sure, but just nice and easy. Keeping the legs fresh and also recovering from yesterday, which was a big session. So yeah, uh, I'm going to try and get it filmed on this GoPro. Not sure what footage I can get because I've not really used it yet, but hopefully I can get some decent footage and sort of fit it in. Frozen like bust downs. I just wanna make some M's, get yards in the hills for me and my bros now. I be in the background blending, all now the camera nuts cause we're up now. Can't be following fashion, so I don't take no trips to uptown. Tryna make this pattern. All I saw was a Mac and a camera, now I gotta make this happen. Young boy making a play but active, so I gotta touch it down like Madden. I ball like Allen. If I got a business plan, they know gotta bring in the G's, no wagon. They ask I stay flashy like Cannon. Yeah, this is horrible. Uh, I've hopefully got a bit of footage, but well, probably not. That I don't mean a murder charge, just trying to expand and make this large. Business has screwed on, stay trying to make moves, don't play, I'm managing. Bro puts mileage in on a daily, wants to go lead, he's attempting to balance it. I'm in the whip with bro, just travelling, trying to boss up by force like Anakin. Sure, I love no hate, cause I don't need no enemies for me to be battling. I just want Phoebe, yes. Expensive water, but if I get that, all I hear is cease is a player from someone's daughter. I scar on a homies every day, a new episode of Lauren. Now this is gonna work, but we ran 12 and a half K out. Now we're running 12 and a half K back. Uh, don't have a clue where we are, to be honest. So we've just done 12 and a half K. It's now time to run back. I don't have a clue where we are, to be honest. I've never ran here before. So I've literally gone 12 and a half K on a trail. And it's pretty much coming to the end of the trail. Uh, so it is now Monday evening. The lighting's awful. Uh, yesterday I did 15 and a half miles at around starting at 6.20s and then progressing it down to about 6 or 5.55s. And the last two miles around like 5.10s. So I don't know why, I just felt good and wanted to pick it up. Even though before I said I was going to go easy. Um, I felt fine though, legs feel fine now. And then I did 5k with my cousin at like 6.40 minute miling. Um, and yeah, it's now eight o'clock Monday night. I've just been doing work all day, tracks to work and stuff. So I've just done my exercises. And I've got 10k and some circuits, well, 5k circuits, 5k. So I'm gonna do that now. Um, and then I'm gonna do a Q&A to try and spice up these videos a bit because obviously I wanna document what I'm doing uh, before the time trial, but also I wanna like release different episodes. And if I just filmed this and then a bit of running, it would be it would be pointless. So I'm gonna do a Q and A after this. Uh, and tomorrow I have got a, like a I've got a tune up speed session, which I did before my 3K in September, and I really enjoyed doing that. So I feel like I'm gonna do it again. A bit altered because it's on the road, um, but similar. Six, 600, 600, 400, 400, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200 with four minutes rest between everything. Uh, or no, um, broken down rest. So four minutes for the 600s and 400s, and then like two minutes between the 200s, uh, about 95% effort. So yeah, that should be interesting. First time I've run quicker than like, I don't know, CV pace for a long time. So it's gonna be very interesting indeed. Uh, I'm just gonna get the treadmill now, just an easy 10K. And then I've got to upload a YouTube video. I'm absolutely freezing. Ignore the one shoe here. I don't know what I'm saying, I'm just waffling. I'm gonna go now, bye. Right, so I'm in my iconic hoodie. I've just finished my run and had my dinner and I'm just drinking a little bit of a smoothie. And I thought I'd do some Q&A questions, try and spice this up a bit. I am just gonna go down and ask on Instagram, got some screenshots of some here. So I'll start from the beginning and see if I can work up. And then ones I don't do on this video, I'll do on probably the next um, video in this series, which is obviously building up to the time trial. What distance are you going to be racing when it returns? Um, I'm going to be doing 10k, I think, because 5k, I'd, I've been adapting really well to these longer sessions and they're probably more suited to half marathon runners sessions. But I feel like because of where I'm at and what, what I've been doing before this year, which has been 5k, I think 10k is probably my best chance to get an international vest um, at the under 23 Europeans. 
and I just think that's my best race at the minute. Let's say I also I haven't been doing much speed in terms of 5k running. So yeah, 10k is probably the goal, but obviously doing a 5k would still be a priority. And then maybe a half marathon as well. But also saying that I do kind of want to do an 8 and a 15 just just to race, just to race everything because of COVID. You just not been able to race. Are you sponsored? No, I'm not sponsored by anyone. So if anyone wants to sponsor me, feel free. Um, no, nah, I'm, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I, I get supported by a few companies, which I can disclose shortly. But as of this moment in time, I'm not sponsored by anyone at all. Volume where you saw the most improvements personally. Um, I'd say anything over the 80 mile range for me is where I see the best, most benefit. 80 miles plus, two sessions a week is where I... Uh, seems to be my sweet spot and I've upped it to 90 and still feel even better. So 80, 90, maybe even higher. I just haven't done it. Race you versus the athlete special. <laughs> it might be tricky since he's in Seattle and I'm in Sheffield uh, in the UK and he's in obviously in the US. And I don't know what, I don't know what distance would race that because in a mile he'd beat me. In a 3k he'd probably beat me. And then in a 5k and 10k I'd probably beat him. Well, I would, I would beat him in a 5k and 10k. He'd probably beat me. Well, he'd definitely beat me in a 15 and an 8. And I think 3k might be the best distance, but also it probably suits him a bit more. So I don't know what distance we can race at where it'd be fair, but I'd definitely beat him in 5 and 10, and he'd definitely beat me in 8 and 15. So maybe the 3k would be a decent race, but I'll have to wait and see. Hopefully one day we can make that happen. What's the deal with recovery days? How many a week? And does that include a recovery run? Um, I guess I technically don't have any recovery days. I have a rest day on a Friday. Um, sometimes I do like a light jog, like easy jog. I don't really have recovery days. I just do all my mileage easy. So generally at the minute, I'm, I've only got one session a week and then I've got two, well, one strength day with a double strength day at the minute, which is just circuits though. And then one steady run and then the rest of it's easy mileage. Sometimes I go a bit quicker on my long run, but yeah, I, I don't really have a recovery day, just never really go, I always go easy on my mileage. Um, do you like beans on toast? Yes, I love beans on toast. Where do you live? Sheffield in England, and then Rory lives in Loughborough or uh, some weird village in York now. Um, he just moved. Top three sessions for repair, preparing for a 5k. I'll probably make a video on this because it's too much to talk about. I couldn't really say three sessions. I'd say... 15 times 400 um, at sub 5k pace, like two seconds per 400 quicker than 5k pace or three seconds quicker with like a minute rest. Like, yeah, probably three or four seconds quicker actually per 400 faster than 5k pace. Um, even if you can get five seconds quicker and with a minute rest, even six seconds quicker. I know I keep on going down, but I'm just thinking about it more. So uh, yeah, probably, probably 15 times 400 at five seconds quicker than... 5k pace with a minute jog, a minute recovery, or that 45 seconds recovery. It's probably a good session. Um, threshold sessions, so five by six minute threshold or 10 by three minute threshold, 15 minute threshold, 10 minute threshold, five minute threshold, I like them sessions, and then hill sessions as well. You, I can never really say three workouts because there's so many you have to do. Um, I guess you could just do three and be fine, but I, I, I yeah, I'll, I'll make a video on that separately. Uh, what shoe company would you most want to run for? At a minute, it's still have to be Nike. Um, Next Percent, their training shoe. I really like the Vermeer 15. I really like the um, Tempo. So Nike, and obviously I really like Dragonfly, but Adidas seemed like a better company to actually be for. And also I really like Sakoni shoes as well. But at the minute, Nike probably have the most, uh, a range of things. Hoka as well, but... Again, yeah, Nike probably covers all areas at the minute. Uh, US Olympic trials predictions. I'll do this in a podcast because there's too many. Eight, 800 to 10K. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that in a podcast or a YouTube video. If you could be sponsored by any company except Nike and Adidas, who would it be? Sockany or Hoka? Um, how are you so cash money? I, I just am. Um, who do you think will break El Garouge's 1500 meter record, world record? Chariot, maybe. Jakob, maybe. Probably neither of them. 
I don't know. El Garouz is it's just so quick. Um, someone will break it eventually, but I can't. I don't know. I, if Jakob keeps improving, then I guess you've got to say Jakob. But Cherry also has a chance, but nah, neither of them. How to resolve the situation with females who have naturally occurring high test high testosterone? I'm not going into this because I don't think there's a fair outcome either way. Sadly, um, Casa Semenya, it's definitely not fair on her to not be able to race. Then on the other side of the foot, I guess it's not fair on the other athletes that they are disadvantaged. And I guess it's different. I've given this argument before, but I do see the other side of it now, where East Africans, for example, um, like Kenyans and Ethiopians, Ugandans, are genetically better at running. Um, longer legs, better, like, just different calf levers. Um, obviously, living at altitude, so that helps the hemoglobin and red blood cells. So it's part of it's genetics, but I, yeah, I, I, I don't really want to go into much detail because I, I don't think it's an outcome that's actually fair. Actually putting on a tracks for event, maybe with elite and amateur club club sections. That's something we definitely want to do. Um, I'm not sure when because of COVID, but there's something we want to do. We're thinking about maybe trying to get like a virtual, well, not like a virtual, but like a dual meet across like the pond. So we'd have one in the UK the same day, like Ben Crawford, for example, hosts one in the US. I think that'd be really cool. And we'd also kind of want to do something a bit different, like different races. Like Rory has the idea of doing like day of a mile. So like we have a fast mile. Be a mile, like try and break world records and like the blue jean mile, uh, two by two by 400, um, two by 800, stuff like that. Elimination mile, just stuff like that. So we'd want to do that as well. In your opinion, which current elite athlete has the greatest range of distances? Kip Limo, Jakob, Kip, Jacob Kip, Jacob Kip Limo, um, a 726 free K and a 57 half marathon. It's crazy. Does mileage really matter? Yes, it does. But if it doesn't matter, like if you suit low mileage, then it does because you're doing low mileage. You're always going to write. So this is the thing. Doing higher mileage, you'll always get better as long as you're not sacrificing, feeling tired, getting injured, etc. So the more mileage you can do whilst maintaining healthy and being able to do workouts, then you're going to be, that's going to be optimum. Um, so it does matter. But some people who run 50 miles a week and then do really good workouts, do steady runs and stuff, then that's just their range. So it, it does matter and it doesn't, um, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so I can't answer that better. Do you think running helps people with mental health? Absolutely. Um, I think it's scientific as well, like it releases sort of hormones, but also it's just like the feeling of when you've done a run um, always helps me. When did you really get serious about running and training? Probably about three years ago, um, I got serious because I've changed coaches to like a proper coach. And then I feel like in the last like year or so, I've got more serious again. How is Mo Farah's comeback going to go in the Olympics? I think he's going to come about fifth or sixth, to be honest. Um, this is too stacked. Um, what change had the biggest influence in your performance? Strength and like tempos and stuff, I'd say. High mileage, nutrition, consistency. It's, again, these questions where it's like, what one thing I, I can't really say, but probably if I had to, literally had to choose one, I'd say higher volume sessions have definitely helped a lot recently. I'll leave it there for today and then answer the rest in another video. This might be too long, so I'll probably cut this up anyway. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And tomorrow I've got a workout, so that's going to be the next video. So yeah, have a nice tuesday or whenever i release this so thank you for watching leave a comment with any more questions you have and also just respond to what i've been answering the questions with and i'm happy to con uh, continue the conversation in the comments thank you for watching have a nice day and i'll see uh, frozen like bust downs i just want to make some m's